Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. My dear student, let us start our class. Our today's lecture number 7, 17 and today's SW number will be 9. And my dear student, our today's topic is chapter 3. From chapter 3, we shall solve two CBQ. CBQ number 2 and CBQ number 3. One CBQ will be solved in our class and another will be your SW. Okay, my dear student, let us start our class. At first, we read question number 3, CBQ number 3, because we shall solve this question as CW in our class. And CBQ number 2 will be your SW. But you should bear in mind that CBQ number 2 will be um, CBQ number 2 was solved in our uh, previous class as word problem, okay. So just uh, that math, okay. You arrange that uh, according to A, B and C. So my dear student, at first we read CBQ number 3. 10 persons can finish a work in 15 days and each of them gets 500 taka daily. I repeat, 10 person can finish a work in 15 days and each of them gets 500 taka daily this is the step okay and two informations are given by using this information we shall solve question number a b and c a question is how many days will a person finish the work that means in order to finish that work a person need how many days okay Question number B, how many money will 10 person get in total daily? That means my dear student, in one day, how many person work? 10 person work. So 10 person gets how many money? Okay, if one person get 500 taka, then 10 person get how much taka? So we need to find out that amount. Question number C, how many person will be needed to finish the work in five days? That means if we want to finish that work within five days, then how many persons will be needed? Okay. So this is the CBQ. Now we shall start to solve this question. Before starting to solve this question, at first we make a plan. By using that plan, we can easily solve that math. Question number A, how many days will a person finish the work? That means a person need how many a person need how many days to finish that work dear student please notice 10 person can finish a work in 15 days we using this information okay to find out uh, the required amount of days of a person okay so at first we write question number a 10 person can finish a work in 15 days so one person uh, can finish a work in how many days it's more as more then we will do multiplication so first of all we write 10 persons can finish a work in 15 days okay dear student now therefore one person can finish a work in 15 multiply 10. Why multiply? Why multiplication? Dear student, notice 10 person can finish a work in 15 days. That amount of work, uh, if one person uh, want to do then more days will be needed and more days will be needed so multiplication will be happen so now we do multiplication here we use easy multiplication process so consider there is no zero so 15 here one so if we multiply 15 with one then we get 15 on the 15 and zero is placed here now 115 150 days okay now we write answer as our solution is done 150 days 
ओके दिस इज सो इजी सी बी क्यू ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर बी हाउ मेनी मनी विल टेन पर्सन गेट इन टोटल डेली ओके सो वन पर्सन गेट हाउ मच टाका वन पर्सन गेट फाइव हंड्रेड टाका सो टेन पर्सन गेट हाउ मच टाका वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दैट अमाउंट ओके right here one person gets 500 taka therefore 10 persons get 500 multiply by 10 taka now we do multiplication we can use here easy process Five ones are five, and there are three zero one zero two zero three zero. This three zero is placed here. So, in total, ten person get five thousand taka. Now we write answer five thousand taka. My dear student, I hope you have understood. Next question number. This is question number B. Okay. Next we shall solve question number C. Okay. How many persons will be needed to finish the work in five days? My dear students, from question number A, we get one person can finish the work in one hundred fifty days. At first, we write that information. Question number C. From A, we get. From A, we get one person. can finish the works in 150 days okay one person can finish the works in 150 days from a we get this information now we need to find out in need to find out in 5 days how many persons will be needed now write now in 150 days in 115 days it is needed one person then in 5 days it is needed 150 divided by 5 persons why division because 5 is smaller than 150 so if we divide 150 by 5 then we get required amount of persons okay here we can show the division procedure 5 divided by 150 15 in 15 5 goes in 3 times 3 5 char 15 then 0 in 0 5 goes in 0 times 3 0 char 0 so that means we get 30 so here i write 30 persons my dear students if we want to finish that work in 5 days then 30 persons will be needed and this is the info uh, answer and we must write answer as our solution is done 30 persons okay my dear student this is our today's cw and cbq number 2 will be your sw and sw number 9 My dear student, we read the question. The total price of 15 shirts and 12 pants is 14,550 taka. The price of one shirt is 450 taka. Question number A: What is the price of 15 shirts? 
क्वेश्चन नंबर बी व्हाट इज द प्राइस ऑफ ऑन पैंट क्वेश्चन नंबर सी हाउ मेनी पैंट्स कैन बी बॉट बाय थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टाका सो हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर ए व्हाट इज द प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टीन शर्ट डियर स्टूडेंट नोटिस फ्रॉम स्टेम वी कैन गेट ए इन्फॉर्मेशन हुई इज द प्राइज ऑफ ऑन शर्ट इज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टाका सो इफ द प्राइज ऑफ ऑन शर्ट इज फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टाका सो द प्राइज ऑफ फिफ्टीन शर्ट इज वट उ डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड उ गेट द आंसर ओ ओके ए नंबर इज डान देन डेड स्टूडेंट नोटिस द टोटल प्राइज ऑफ फिफ्टीन शर्ट्स एंड टुएल्व पैंट इज गिवेन हुई इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एंड फ्रॉम ए वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड द प्राइज ऑफ फिफ्टीन शर्ट्स तो इफ वी सब्ट्रैक्ट द प्राइज ऑफ फिफ्टीन शर्ट्स From the total price of 15 shirts and 12 pant, we get the price of 12 pant. Okay, so by using that 12 pants price, we can easily find out the price of one pant. How can we uh, divide that pant, 12 pants amount by 12 and we get the price of one pant? Okay, question number C. How many pants can be bought by Three thousand two hundred fifty taka. Dear student, notice from B we get the price of one pant. Okay, if we divide this three thousand two hundred fifty taka by the price of one pant, then we get the required number of pants. I hope you can easily solve this math, cause I know you are very smart learner. Okay, so my dear student, I hope you can solve this math as your S W. You must pick up this question, dear student. Notice. When you solve this math, you must pick up this question. Okay, pick up this question. After pick up this question, then you start to solve. Okay, you must do your S N S W in S W copy and must give S W number and submit it regularly in our school campus uh, in every Saturday within uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So my dear student, keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamualaikum.